Good morning. Today is Saturday, the 30th of October, and I'm sorry I missed you for our 10 o'clock morning prayer, but I had the opportunity to offer midday prayer. It's a little shorter, but I'm glad to be able to do that. Um, midday prayer is found in our Book of Common Prayer, beginning on page 33. Of course, I will, as custom, say all of the parts, um, in case you don't have a prayer book in front of you. Today is my sister Camille's birthday, and she's coming over in just a few minutes, and, uh, and we're celebrating her birthday here today. O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Alleluia. Psalm 119, verses 105 through 112. Your word is a lantern to my feet, and a light upon my path. I have sworn, and am steadfastly purposed, to keep your righteous judgments. I am troubled above measure. Revive me, O Lord, according to your word. Let the free will offerings of my mouth please you, O Lord, and teach me your judgments. My life is always in my hand, yet I do not forget your law. The ungodly have laid a snare for me, yet I have not strayed from your commandments. Your testimonies have I claimed as my heritage forever. And why? They are the very joy of my heart. I have applied my heart to fulfill your statutes, even unto the end. Psalm 121 I lift up my eyes into the hills, from whence comes my help. My help comes from the Lord, who has made heaven and earth. He will not let your foot be moved, and he who keeps you will not sleep. Behold, he who keeps Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord himself is your keeper. The Lord is your defense upon your right hand, so that the sun shall not burn you by day, neither the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve you from all evil. Indeed, it is he who shall keep your soul. The Lord shall preserve your going out and your coming in from this time forth forevermore. Psalm 124 If the Lord himself had not been on our side, now may Israel say, If the Lord himself had not been on our side when men rose up against us, then would they have swallowed us up alive. When they were so wrathfully displeased with us, then the waters would have drowned us and the torrent gone over us, when the raging waters would have gone clean over us. But praise be the Lord, who has not given us over to be prey for their teeth. We escaped like a bird out of the snare of the fowler. The snare is broken, and we have been delivered. Our help is in the name of the Lord, the Maker of heaven and earth. Psalm 126 When the Lord overturned the captivity of Zion, then were we like those who dream. Then was our mouth filled with laughter and our tongue with shouts of joy. Then they said among the nations, The Lord has done great things for them. Indeed, the Lord has done great things for us already. Therefore we rejoice. Overturn our captivity, O Lord, as when streams refresh the deserts of the south. Those who sow in tears shall reap with songs of joy. He who goes on his way weeping and bears good seed shall doubtless come again with joy and bring his sheaves with him. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Our brief lesson is from Second Corinthians chapter 5, verses 17 and 18. If anyone is in Christ, he or she is a new creation. The old has passed away. Behold, the new has come. All this is from God, who through Christ reconciled us to himself and gave us the ministry of reconciliation. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. 
We'll take a moment for silent meditation and then continue. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. O Lord, hear our prayer, and let our cry come to you. Let us pray. Almighty Savior, who at midday called your servant St. Paul to be an apostle to the Gentiles, we pray you to illumine the world with the radiance of your glory, that all nations may come and worship you, for you live and reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. At this time, I invite your prayers, intercessions, and thanksgivings as the Holy Spirit places upon your heart I would ask your prayers for Lester, who is recovering from a medical procedure yesterday, and I understand that he is doing well, but continue to pray for him. And I have really good news. Um, you may have heard, I alluded to it uh, earlier this week, um, Joy Black was scheduled to have radiation, uh, actually starting uh, this coming Monday, and then there was a problem with the insurance. Uh, she was originally denied, and... Um, that causes us great concern because, of course, uh, this is the radiation as part of the treatment to make her well. Well, we called on Friday and were assured that the uh, doctor's office uh, insurance person was appealing uh, that decision and was working on it. Uh, and then later Friday, yesterday afternoon, Joy received a phone call that she was approved. And so her radiation treatment schedule is slightly delayed. We've got to get it rescheduled. But praise be to God that uh, that hurdle has been overcome. So continue to pray for Lester and for Joy and Jan, uh, for Glenn and Harriet, uh, for John and Galen, for Natalie, who's doing well but has a bunch of tests coming up. Uh, and she's improving, let me say that. She has quite a few tests coming up, and they're big and important. She's, of course... Um, a cancer survivor. She's going through treatments and so forth. And so we play, pray for Natalie and her mother and family uh, as she goes through these treatments. For Margie, for Walter, for Laura, for Louise, for Mark and Allison, our bishop, and Chip and Beth, our bishop-elect Coda Juder, for Lynn, for birthdays and anniversaries today, uh, we, of course, I mentioned at the beginning of the service, please remember my sister Camille, today is her birthday, and my Aunt Clisby, who died, oh goodness, several weeks ago at this point and has been buried, um, it was also her birthday, and so we remember um, Clisby Matthews uh, as faithful departed. Please pray for the missionary hostages in Haiti for their safe relief, for Marge and Pat, for all who suffer from COVID and the pandemic and the effects of that pandemic that that ripple throughout the world for those facing weather conditions and storms for members of our armed forces and their families and those in the diplomatic corps and their families we pray for our president who travels overseas who's meeting with leaders of the nations for discernment on how to be good stewards of our environment and for cooperation amongst all nations for the good of the people of this world. We pray for the pilgrims in the Holy Land, uh, Father Mark and Father Denman and others who uh, I'm not quite familiar with everyone going, but we pray for those in our diocese who are on pilgrimage to the Holy Land. And I, of course, ask your prayers uh, for uh, all those who proclaim the gospel, uh, for Roger and Joanne, uh, for our friends in the Middle East, particularly in Egypt, 
and for all who are undergoing any trials, uh, troubles, sorrows, needs, sicknesses, or face any adversity. Let us take a moment or two and lift up our friends, family, loved ones, even ourselves, for prayer. Alleluia, alleluia, let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God, alleluia, alleluia. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. I look forward to worshiping with you in person at Church of the Holy Cross tomorrow at 10 or live on Facebook or then recorded. Uh, but uh, in any event, you know I say this every Saturday, join us if you can. But if you're able, wherever you are, attend a church of your choice where the gospel is preached, uh, the good news of Jesus Christ is proclaimed, the people gather together to pray for their needs, the needs of the world as a praying body, to hear the holy word of God, the Bible read and explained and um, placed before the people for us to decide and to follow and for fellowship and holy communion god bless you all and i look forward to being with you tomorrow as we gather for the lord's supper have a wonderful and blessed day god bless you